Hello everyone, welcome back to the fleet and today I'm going to show you how to add more RAM to your Minecraft game. Now I'm going to be doing this in the latest version at the moment in Minecraft which is 1.21.1 and it is actually very easy to do and what it'll do is it actually make your game run a lot smoother especially if you're playing mods. So if that sounds great, be sure to stick around in this video. Also, if you do enjoy it and it does help you out, be sure to leave a like on this video. Also hit that subscribe button as well, that would be amazing. But let's actually get straight into the video. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is actually go to your desktop on your computer. Once you are here, what you're gonna to want to do then is actually load up your Minecraft launcher. As you can see, mine is now loaded. From here, what you're gonna to want to do is actually come to the installations up here. So select that. Now in here, what you're gonna to want to do is actually choose on what Minecraft you're playing on. Now for many of you, you're probably not going to have many of these things in here. This is just because I installed loads of mods. Now for most of you, it's probably going to look something like this, where there's just one in here. If it looks like this for you, that is absolutely fine. But for me, I've got mods, so I'm going to select the modded up here. And if you are using mods, you're going to want to select the modded. And make sure you can select the one you are going to play on. So whatever profile you're going to be playing on, this is the one we're going to want to edit. Now for me today, I'm just going to play normal Minecraft. So I'm going to use this one down here, the latest release. And in this one here, what we're going to want to do is come to the end here and click on the three little dots. So click on that. And then what you're going to do from here is click on the edit button. Now once this page here loads, what you're going to want to do from here is actually select more options. And once you've selected more options, down here you're going to see on how much RAM your Minecraft's actually using. So for me, it's actually using one gigabyte, which is not that much at all. Now it's recommended for Minecraft to use between two and four gigabytes of RAM. That's only if you're going to play the default Minecraft, so the latest version of Minecraft. If you're going to play this one, I recommend putting this between two and four gigabytes. But if you don't know how much RAM you've got, you actually need to check that first because many computers have eight gigabytes of RAM, also up to 16, 32 and 64. Now, most of you watching this video, you're probably gonna have eight gigabytes of RAM or even 16. So if you do have eight gigabytes of RAM, I recommend just putting four gigabytes in here. Now, if you want to check on how much RAM you've got on your computer, it's actually very easy to do. What you're gonna to wanna to do is come down to your Windows key. So you can come down here and press it or you can press it on your keyboard. So once you've pressed that, what you're gonna to wanna to do from here is actually come up to the settings bar. So just come to the settings, click in there. Now wait for the settings to load up and inside of settings, what you're gonna to wanna to do is come to system. Then in system, scroll all the way down to the bottom to about. So select this one just here. Now inside of about, in here, you can actually see on how much RAM you've got installed on your computer. So you can see here installed RAM. I've actually got eight gigabytes of RAM. So that is how you find out how much RAM you've got on your computer. So very important, make sure you don't go over this amount. So I've got eight gigabytes of RAM. So what I'm gonna do is close this one down. Back in Minecraft, I can perfectly find run four gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you have more gigabytes of RAM, say if you had 16 gigabytes of RAM, you can move this up to eight gigabytes if you want to, something like that. Now, if you're playing normal Minecraft, you don't need to do this much. So I'm gonna keep this at four. But if you are playing with mods, it's actually recommended to have this up at 6. So if you're playing any mods like on Curse Forage or even Forage, Fabric, uh, Neon Forage, I recommend putting this up to 6. But if you do have loads of mods installed, then even bump this up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. But only do this if you've got enough RAM installed on a computer. Because if you don't have enough RAM installed, it probably won't work that well. And um, yeah, you might have some problems. So I've only got 8 gigabytes of RAM installed. So I'm only going to put 4 gigabytes in here. I'm not going to go any higher than that, as it might cause some problems. So I'm just going to put 4. And make sure you've got the G on the end there, because that stands for gigabytes. So 4 gigabytes of RAM. And then what you're going to do from here is click on the Save button just down here. Now, if you are going to be using Fabric or even Forage, you're going to want to do it in this profile. So if you're going to use Fabric, what you're going to want to do is hover over the one you're going to use, come to the three little dots, click on Edit, click on More Options, and down here, you're going to want to bump this up uh, to whatever you want. So I'm going to bump that up to four, click on Save. Also, for Forage, I'm going to do the same thing. Come to the three little dots, click on Edit, More Options. Come down here, I'm also going to bump this two gigabytes up to four as well, just like that, and click on Save. You can also do it for iris shaders as well if you want to, neon forage, even uh, optivine as well. So all you've got to do is come to the three little dots, click on edit, come to more options, come down here and just simply move this up and then click on save. So that's how you add more RAM to Minecraft. If you found this video helpful, I really appreciate you did leave a like on it and also hit that subscribe button as well as I do upload lots of Minecraft tutorials. And if you want to play Minecraft with your friends, check out this video here. I showcase the top three best server hostings. Be sure to check out that video, but that is it from me and I'll see you all next time.